Firstly, Eamon, Jason obviously isn't here to accept his diploma because he's away in UK and he's got commitments with his new club, but um, for the three of you and for yourself particularly, how proud a day is it to receive this diploma? Oh, it's great, you know, to get any sort of award and to be, you know, recognised, you know, your achievements and stuff like that is great. But, um, no, I really learned a lot over the last three years, you know, about lifestyle and about how to deal with media and stuff like this and also rugby theory, so yeah, no, it's great, and it's great to accept an award today. Tom, how important do you think is it to have a balance on and off the field of play, and, and aspects like the, the heat tech diploma, how, how much of a role would that play in, the, in your development as a rugby player? I definitely think it plays a huge role, um, like, stories have shown that players who have balance on and off the pitch perform better on the pitch, so I think this is a great formula for the players in the academy to develop outside of rugby, and um, for their careers after rugby as well. I think um, the different modules prepare you in a lot of different ways which are beneficial. Ian, obviously your your career was uh, cut short uh, rather unfortunately, but I know you've got big aspirations to retain an association in the game. Can you firstly tell us how that's going and how the, the coaching side of it's going? Because I believe you've dipped your toe in there. Yeah, doing uh, bits and bobs here and there, uh, coaching two teams at the moment and uh, hopefully uh, early doors. Uh, I'm doing a project with the Section A rugby, which will hopefully come to fruition in the next few weeks. So, uh, sort of early stages with that, but really enjoying it. It's not obviously not the same as as playing, and I'd still love to be doing that. But it's it's uh, sort of the next best thing, and I'm really enjoying it. And How difficult is it to balance your third level commitments? allied to maybe your club commitments when you first come into the academy and then training a professional team, weights and what have you. Is it, is, it a major, is it a major shift for you coming out of school or how did you find it? Yeah, I think, I mean, you need to be certainly mature uh, to balance out your time and, and these modules would help you in terms of sort of game knowledge and therefore uh, spreading out your time as, as, uh, as uh, best you can in terms of what college work you need to do, what rugby uh, you need to work on. And Tom... You know, you came in having won, had having achieved a fair bit of success in, in school, straight into an environment, a professional senior environment. What, what was that like? Um, particularly the step ups in training, training with fellas you probably would have looked up to, and uh, and obviously now you've come come back from injury as well. So it's, it must be good for you to to be back and back and running and back in amongst the the, the senior team as well. Well, obviously like coming from school, it's a huge step up in terms of just a way of life and professionalism and obviously being a front row forward the physicality of that as well being such a young uh, such a young boy at that time um, it definitely does take a couple two or three years to, to adapt to that um, but I think the academy program is a testament to it that the program is there so if you're willing to work hard within that environment that the path is there for you to, to achieve what you want to achieve obviously coming back from the uh, the long term injury it was a tough road but I'm back now and I've got a few games under my belt so I'm looking forward to hopefully um, try my best to uh, get a few opportunities you know, I come from a Gaelic background as well you know which a lot of a lot of schools guys may not have done uh, you know it definitely helped me along the way as well so you know I, f- I found it good though I found it easy enough to to come in from club background it's, it's very satisfying for the players themselves um, they've gone through it and they've gone through all aspects of the program um, and not only have they gone through it, they've applied the information and that's why they're graduating. And uh, they follow, a, as you said, a long a line of players, um, the likes of Johnny Sexton, etc., who have gone, Devon Toner, Kevin McLaughlin, who've gone on and even represented Ireland. And uh, these guys now have, uh, have that same sort of information and package that they had. And it's, it's just about uh, applying all the knowledge and everything that they've learned over the last number of years and uh, you know, hopefully progressing and following in their footsteps on the pitch. Finally, how important is it to produce all-round pl- people, not better people, you'd hope, than, than say, just pure rugby players? Um, and what are the kind of d- the values that we're trying to instill in, in the academy system here at Leinster? I think the, the values of Leinster rugby has to be instilled, and uh, um, it's, important, it's important from our point of view that we create that all-round player. Um, rugby is, is a very uh, adaptive em- environment, both on and off the field. And... Uh, our job within the academy is to arm the players that they can uh, they can handle uh, both environments, both on and off the field. They can make good decisions, uh, impl- uh, apply themselves well, and uh, represent Leinster well and and themselves. And uh, I think 
you, you can't um, you can't just focus on one aspect because uh, rugby rugby's more than one aspect as well. There's a lot of other attributes and uh, skills that are required, and that's what we aim to do within the program. It's a proud day for you. Four more players have come through. Some, obviously, Ian had to unfortunately retire, but Eamon Sherrod and Tom Sexton are still within the Leinster setup. Jason Harris Roy has gone to to play his trade over in the UK, so that must be satisfying. Absolutely, and uh, I all, I've always said it. Um, the guys who complete the program in totality and, and end up with the, with, with the degrees, uh, I don't think anyone has not yet experienced professional rugby. And uh, I, you know, it's just unfortunate for Ian, but you know, hopefully, hopefully this degree will 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 help him in his uh, in his quest outside of rugby. Um, and for the other three, hopefully this uh, sets them up rightly for their future pathway within the game.